Welcome to Sweden. Well, technically, we are in Switzerland driving a Swedish car. This is Volvo XC60 and it just smells like Sweden. It's lovely. This is Volvo's most important launch this year and I will tell you why. Because the previous model was selling so well, it was about 30% chunk of Volvo's worldwide sales. So it just had to be good and this one has got to be better this is a t6 petrol engine with 320 horsepower and a torque of 400 newton meters so it's got plenty of pulling power and it almost feels this pulling power it almost feels like an electric car it's so quiet when you accelerate this engine has both supercharger and turbocharger but it is still a two liter four cylinder Not bad. Um, 0 to 100 5.9 seconds so it is a quick SUV um, in terms of fuel consumption fairly dynamic driving my favorite of course I'm getting 18.4 liters you can make up your mind if it's good or not good for you let's talk about what the eyes can see and my goodness my eyes are seeing this beautifully designed car inside out it is like the little sister of the xc90 and although i really like the xc90 it is a big car this one you can easily park in the city the interior of xc60 now this in particular is telling us we are dealing with the premium suv it's just so elegant so pretty i think even a little bit more than the german suvs so the german car lovers you've got nothing to complain about i think you will really appreciate it in fact this is the inscription model which is the top of the range uh, you have to pay a little bit more for this but i think it's very worth it the quality of the materials is very very high the finishing the detailing like the little flag Swedish flag on the dash or on the seat they all make the car very special everything looks um, solid it looks so expensive and it feels so soft to touch <sighs> I do like it in terms of space the seats in the front are very comfortable the back isn't too bad at all because you can easily fit a two meter person whilst another two meter person is sitting in the front so Volvo has done has done very very well drive the car is ever so easy to handle and to drive it's got eight-speed automatic transmission which is super smooth and quick around the corners in comfort mode the body of the car tends to swing a little bit but this is something you would expect from a car of this size and, and weight but at no point in time you feel that you're losing grip in fact you do feel solid grip at all times when you put it in got a very dynamic mode, like a sharp corner, if you put it into dynamic mode, the 
suspension firms up right away. I think I've got a nice kick. And things, the feeling of swinging is drastically reduced. It does not disappear, but it's got that the grip is firmer and tighter, a little bit sportier. Now, speaking of sportiness, the car isn't too sporty. The acceleration is quick and quiet, but in the dynamic mode, when you rev it out, it can be a little bit noisy. But really, in this car, you want to be driving in comfort mode because Volvo's priority for XC60 uh, were not particularly sportiness. It was luxury and comfort in mind. And this is what the car feels best in a comfort mode. It's quiet, it's so comfortable to travel in long distances. And it's pretty perfect. Volvo and Safety, they continue to pride themselves on it. And in fact, they have a vision that in all Volvo cars built from 2020, there'll be no passenger or driver dying or being seriously injured in Volvo car. That statement comes with a bit of responsibility and a bit of work. Um, so, of course, they're constantly learning and developing uh, in terms of safety kits. This car is equipped with what's called the city safety system. And what it means is that if there's an obstacle, the car will not only auto brake for me, it will also steer me around it. And what they mean by obstacles, um, pedestrians, cyclists, large animals. So if there's, a, if there's an elephant in the front of me, XC60 will surely um, steer me around it. So the elephant remains happy and untouched. What's well, important to mention that the car won't actually do it for you. It will guide you to do it so that you end up doing this much quicker and smoother. So overall, what do I think of Volvo XC60? I think it's a beautiful, stylish and elegant looking car. It is also very lovely to drive. It's spacious, it's practical. Um, it will cost you about 65,000 Swiss francs, this particular model inscription, which is significantly more than the model it replaces. But considering the safety kits you're getting and the increased comfort, I think you won't be disappointed at all. At least, I'm not. And on that note, I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!